Hey readers, happy Friday. Welcome back for another read aloud. For the next four weeks, I've designated it Classic Book Fridays. I'm kicking off Classic Book Friday with a special to me. This is called Pantaloon. It was written originally in 1951, but as a child, Marna and Poppy read this to me just about every night. And it still turns out it has some of my favorite things in it, like shiny red bicycles, dogs, and don't tell, sweet treats. I hope you like this classic book, Pantaloon. Happy reading. One morning, Pantaloon hopped on his shiny red bicycle and headed straight for the baker shop. Oh my, he said to himself, I never can get enough of those delicious baked and iced things. Now, at that moment, the baker who looked like a jolly round potato, was making a list of things he had to bake that morning. Pies and cakes with strawberry icing, gingerbread men with sugar and spicing, 12 winning cakes with lots of layers, nine birthday cakes, and chocolate eclairs. Sounds lovely but I'll never be finished by noon if I don't have some help, cried the baker. So he put a sign in the window that said, help wanted. <laughs> when Pantaloon saw that sign, he fairly flew into the shop. I'm a helper, he said, licking his lips. <laughs> oh no, Pantaloon, said the baker. You look to me as if you'd eat more than you'd bake. He opened the door very wide and said, Goodbye, Pantaloon. Two. Then, since he was later than ever, the baker began at once to mix and beat the cake. Before long, another helper came tripping into his shop. This one seemed to be a very nice old lady in a big bonnet and a blue shawl. I'm a lovely cook, she said, and I never eat between meals. Then you're the helper for me, laughed the baker, so happy that he danced the old lady round and round his shop. But her shawl caught on the counter and her bonnet bounced off her head. And this wasn't a nice old lady at all. It's Pantaloon, cried the baker throwing up his hands. Goodbye! He leaped on his bicycle and hurried along to the barber shop. But all the time he was being clipped and combed and curled, he was trying to think up a new plan for getting to be a helper in that bakery shop. After a great Hustle and bustle, the baker was ready to ice his cakes. He opened his sugar bin and it was empty, right down to the bottom. No sugar? <gasps> Away he ran in his going to market hat. Then back he came, carrying such a large bag of sugar that he never saw Pantaloon's bicycle which somehow had rolled right in front of his door. Oops! Cried the baker, and down he came in a heap. When Pantaloon saw what had happened, he wanted to hide under the barber's chair. But he ran bravely out and helped the angry 
bumped and bruised Baker into his bed. Don't worry about a thing, he said. Then he mixed the icing, iced the cakes, loaded everything into the baker's truck, and delivered all the cakes and cookies in the nick of time. Delivery. People were delighted to have their pies and cakes and cookies brought to them by such a prompt poodle. Are you the baker's new helper? They asked. Maybe I am, grinned Pantaloon happily. But on the way back, it was his bicycle that had caused all the trouble. Oh, me, he said. I'll never dare show my face in the baker shop again. So he parked the truck and went home. Before long, the baker was back in his shop. He mixed and baked and iced more busily than ever because now he had more customers than ever. Why, where's Pantaloon? They asked. And they said, how you must miss him. Well, my goodness, I do miss Pantaloon very much. What do you know about that? In the meantime, Pantaloon was playing his guitar and singing. Oh, 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 what I care for cakes or eclairs. Oh, oh, or gingerbread men with lots of icing. Oh, oh. Tried on all his hats and pretended each one looked much finer than a baker's tall red hat. But he didn't fool himself one bit. It's no use, said Pantaloon at last. He still wanted more than anything to be a baker. Meanwhile, the baker was looking all over town for Pantaloon. Everyone said, no, I haven't seen him. And the baker went sadly back to his shop. He put on his tall red hat and suddenly he had such a splendid idea that he grinned a wide grin and began to bake the biggest, most beautiful cake ever. Now, Pantaloon was in his bathtub, scrubbing his back with a long handled brush. Through the window came the beautiful smell of that beautiful cake. In a wink, Pantaloon was out of his bath. He hurried down the street, holding a big maroon and white umbrella in front of him. This way, he said, I can see the baker shop and the baker can't see me. And he stopped in front of the window. That wonderful shop looked even more wonderful. It was filled with pies and cakes with all kinds of icing, gingerbread men with sugar and spicing, with lots of layers and birthday cakes and chocolate eclairs. And right in the very middle of the window, tipped forward so you could read the letters, was a beautiful, big, round cake that said, Please, Pantaloon, come back. Here I am, laughed Pantaloon, bursting into the shop. At last, 
he put on a tall red hat on Pantaloon's head and sliced the cake. Then, side by side, the two sat in the window, eating and laughing and chatting away. The two happiest bakers in the world. I hope you enjoyed one of my childhood favorites, Pantaloon, or like I used to say, Pantawoo-woo. Happy riding right into your weekend. See you next week.